Transistors A transistor is a device formed by two PN junctions either as PNP or NPN. 1. PNP transistor In this type of a transistor, there is a thin vapor of N-type semiconductor between two P-type semiconducting materials. 2. NPN transistor In this type of a transistor, there is a thin vapor of P-type material sandwiched between two N-type semiconducting materials. The sandwiched wafer is called the base. On one side of the base is an emitter and on its other side is the collector. The semiconducting material used as emitters have more concentration of impurities. The material used for base has much lower amount of impurities. The amount of impurities in the materials used for the collector are more than that in the base but less than that in the emitter. The collector also has more volume than the emitter. The arrow on each symbol identifies the emitter terminal of the transistor. For PNP transistor, the arrow head points from P-type emitter to the N-type base. For the NPN transistor, the arrow head points from P-type base to the N-type emitter. In practical transistor circuits, the junction formed by emitter and the base, that is the emitter junction, is forward biased. And the junction formed between collector and the base, that is the collector junction, is reverse biased. Here, yeah, we will describe the working of an NPN transistor which is used more extensively. Here, yeah, the emitter junction being forward biased, the electrons easily enter the base from the emitter. The region forming the base is very thin and has smaller proportion of impurities, resulting in less number of holes. Therefore, only 5% of the electrons entering the base combined with the holes present there and the remaining 95% of them will enter the collector region due to the voltage VCC applied between the base and the collector. The electrons entering the collector give rise to an equivalent current in the external circuit. It is represented as IC. Simultaneously for each electron which combines with the hole at the base, one electron is attracted by the voltage VEE to constitute the base current IB. Hence, we can say that out of all the electrons entering the base from the emitter, 95% constitute the collector current and 5% constitute the base current. At the junction point, Kirchhoff's first rule gives IE is equal to IB plus IC. In a transistor, the currents IE and IC are of the order of few milliamperes and the current IB is of the order of a few microamperes. In addition, one of the terminals of the transistor is kept at zero potential and the other two are given different potentials. This way, three possible circuit arrangements can be made. Of these, we will not consider the common collector. In a common base circuit, the ratio IC upon IE is called the current gain alpha. In common emitter circuit, IC upon IB is called the current gain beta.